Here's my braised pork leg with flower mushroom. Cooking up. Hi, this is Cooking up. Today I'm going to do a braised pork leg. Uh, of course, every time when I uh, doing a similar dishes, I will actually use a different way. Okay, so this uh, this will be slightly different than my previous video as well. So. Um, first of all, I have about 1.5 kg of uh, pork leg here. Uh, this can actually last us for at least two days. Okay, of course, I'm cooking for three adults, so uh, you don't have. You can actually just use half of it. All right. And today I'm going to add this, which is what they call a um, uh, flower mushroom. Okay, it's a huge mushroom, which I'm going to slice it later and soak it until softened. I have four eggs as usual. I have some eggs, and I have some uh, traditional tofu. Then this this is one uh, one whole uh, green onion, spring onion. Okay, and here is our spices to make our soup flavorful. Uh, let's look at the fresh one first. We have some garlic. Later, I'm just going to uh, is uh, gently crush it, crush it, and then uh, put it in. And I have few slices of ginger here. You can adjust the amount you like. It's okay. And have some dried chili here. Okay, wash dried chili. And this is star anise. Uh, sorry, star anise. This is star about two star anise here. Uh, one cinnamon stick. Uh, bay leaf. Four cloves. I have a bit of um, fennel seed. Okay. And this thing here is is to add it more flavor. Which is actually the Chinese Sichuan peppercorn, about one teaspoon of it. Okay, so um, as usual, the first step is always to blanch your your pork leg. Okay. Now you always hear Appa mentioning about blanching. Okay, so the 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 blanching process is always to remove the. Uh, uh, unwanted particles. Some people call it impurities. Well, whatever you want to call, uh, especially it's from the bone. So um, to uh, really get it out, yeah, from the meat itself. So what we do here is very simple. First of all, you prepare one pot of uh, water. Okay, it can be hot, but not boiling. Okay, it can be hot, but not boiling. Uh, put your meat inside, and you raise the heat and let it slowly boil. Okay. So you always the tip number one is very important. Always put in your meat before the water gets boiling. Then it will actually um, uh, the removal of the impurities is actually can be done much much better than you actually put in into a boiling water. Okay, so that's very important. Secondly, you can actually put in one or two pieces of ginger. Okay, it will help to remove the unwanted smell. And also, you can add in some rice wine. Okay, all this process is actually helping to remove any unwanted smell from uh, the meat itself. Okay, so what we are going to do here is we are going to slowly uh, uh, bring it to a boil, and you will start and then and let it let it boil for say about uh, just two three minutes is more than enough. Okay. Okay. So this has been boiling for a couple of minutes. You actually start seeing all these uh, brown color form bubbles coming up. Okay. So all this is actually um, the unwanted impurities. Uh, some people call it. All right. So um, by doing a blanching process, um, number one. You are going to uh, if you don't do this later. What in uh, whatever soupy dish that you are going to make, that soupy dish is going to look for me like this. Okay, so you already re remove a majority of the form through this particular process. So your later your soup is going to be very clear. That's number one. Number two, you have removed all these forms is actually the unwanted smell. Yeah, especially for many many kinds of meat, there are actually some unwanted raw smell. So by doing this, you will definitely remove at least eighty or ninety percent of that unwanted smell. Okay, so 
uh, it is now okay already. Uh, after boiling for a couple of minutes, it's more than enough, and I'm going to uh, take it out, remove it from this water, and uh, I'm going to wash it under running water to wash it cleanly. Yeah. So um, uh, and then it's done. That's all for the blanching process. Yeah. It's very very simple. Okay, there you go. This is uh, how it looks like after I wash all of it. Uh, remove from the hot water, boiling water, and wash it thoroughly under running water. Okay, so this is the uh, blanching process. It only takes you less than about five minutes. Okay. All right, like any other cast iron or stainless steel wok, you always have to put your oil inside the, the pot uh, while it is still cold. Okay, so I've actually added some oil inside and we want to saute our fresh, spi uh, fresh uh, spices. So this is our green onion, our ginger slices and also our garlic. Okay, you want all the, the fragrance and uh, flavor to be induced into your oil. Okay, here's our dry chili and uh, some cinnamon stick. All my other dry spices, I've actually put it into a tea bag. Yeah? Okay, the fragrance has definitely come out. Now we can actually add in the blanched pork leg. Not sure if I can put in everything. Let's try. I have adjusted the height of my camera. I'm not sure if this angle is better than the higher one. Yeah, maybe you want to leave your comments in the under the video and uh, tell me is this a better angle or you prefer the higher one? Ooh, already very fragrant. Okay. If you have stock, you can add in some stock. I'm using the water that I use to uh, soak my mushroom. Okay. And it won't be enough, so I'm going to add more hot water. We need to add up uh, to a water level where it will actually manage to cover all our ingredients. Just manage to cover. I think a bit more. You don't have to wait for me to uh, add the water. We come back shortly. All right, I have added more water, and you want to put this in. Here's our dry spices just now. Uh, the fennel, the the star anise, the what else? The cloves. Okay, I'm actually putting inside here bay leaf. Yeah, and you may notice it's a lot bigger than you thought. Well, inside here, I actually added in the stems from the mushroom. So when I remove the stems, yeah, the stems from the mushroom, I actually put it inside because the stems of a mushroom is actually a very good ingredient for you to boil a soup or uh, make a flavorful stock. So never throw away your 
uh, your uh, mushroom uh, stones because you can use them to boil a stock. Some people, some of my followers is actually asking Appa to make a vegetarian soup or vegetarian dish uh, without using any meat stock. So if you want to make a vegetarian stock, use the stems of the mushroom. Okay, so put this in. And of course, uh, I don't mind putting in my mushroom now. You can, uh, the longer you cook, the better it will soak in all the flavor. It's huge. My mushroom today is huge. And I need, I still need to leave some room for my uh, tofu and also egg, yeah? But we are not going to add that too now. So let's do some uh, basic seasoning right now and for the color. So we give it a few rounds of light soya sauce. This will totally depend on how much uh, meat you have. And let me look for my dark soya sauce. Oh, it's not open yet. No, let me open first. Okay, we add in some dark soya sauce. This is for the color. Okay. We still can adjust the amount later, so don't worry. And I'm going to add in some five spice powder. Okay. And you will need few tablespoon of uh, sugar. I will add in about two tablespoons. I'm using brown sugar because usually I found brown sugar a bit more gentle to our taste bud and stomach. Okay. Maybe a two to three tablespoon. Okay, we can adjust the saltiness and the sweetness later, okay? And just for the flavoring, I'm going to add is a bit of salt right now. And I'm going to bring it to a boil then cover it with a lid and cook it under low fire for about 45 minutes okay it is now boiling um, before i let it simmer under low heat i'm going to add something to make it more flavorful which is um, fried onion Okay, fried onion will actually make your braised meat a lot more flavorful. It's optional, if you have it, you add it in. If you don't have it, it's okay. See, you're still seeing some of the forms coming up. So we can also uh, remove all the forms later using a spatula. Okay, so don't worry. Imagine you don't do the blanching process. The form is going to be scary. Mm, it's not really that black color. I want it a bit darker. Before it a bit darker, where is my dark soy ashes? Okay. 
usually dark soya sauce the people use it to get the color to achieve the kind of color you want wow it's already very flavorful even before the simmering okay i'm going to add in the tofu and the egg maybe around half an hour later but the whole simmering process will take about 45 minutes I'm going to off the fire to low heat and cover this with a lid let it simmer for half an hour I'm adding the tofu and egg and then let it simmer for another 15 minutes total 45 so this is after 30 minutes simmering under a low heat or low medium heat up to you okay and let's see what we've gotten Extremely fragrant. Yeah, I wish you can smell all this. Mm. Okay. Let's add in our final ingredients. Add some eggs. Also, I have some tofu. You need to use the traditional uh, pressed tofu for this, okay? You can't use uh, those smooth tofu. You won't stay in ships. Actually, it can be a bit more darker. I don't mind to be a bit more darker. Let's give it a bit more because I'm thinking you can use a bit more dark soya sauce. Okay. So now I'm going to actually turn it to about medium uh medium to medium around medium between medium to me, uh, low yeah and let it continue cool for a minimum another 15 minutes then we do some final seasoning and it is done all right this is after the final 15 minutes Tofu could have uh, been uh, darker. You can actually leave it inside for longer. But basically, the dish is done. Okay. I will let me add in a bit of uh, black self uh, self blended uh, black pepper. Taste it. Mm. <coughs> nice. Now, you can uh, the final step is actually you can actually uh, adjust <coughs> adjust to taste uh, with uh, sugar and salt. Okay. Okay. Probably need a bit more salt on this. Okay. Now here you go. Here's our give it some. Let me give it some uh, fresh coriander. Here's our uh, braised pork leg with flower mushroom. Okay, and I show you the flower mushroom has soaked up all the very nice flavor from the braised uh, soup gravy. All right. So if you like my video, do share my video out to your Facebook on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Up on Facebook and face your great above the like and follow button. Subscribe to Cooking Up on YouTube channel and follow up on Instagram. Now the more you cook this, the more flavorful it gets. Actually, it will actually be most tasty tomorrow. 
<laughs> Alright, okay, thank you very much. Enjoy your dinner with your family. Bye bye.